So I'm going to sign on. Now, before you do that, if you look down below, uh, Diane was just saying playing against robots. Underneath, become a member free. Watch anon anonymously. So that is an option. Go ahead and log in and let's watch. All right. We're going to log in. Remember, you can move the pictures around so they're not in the middle of your screen. And I'm going to, did you see I went to casual? I did that kind of fast. So, yeah, clo yeah, slowly, casual, and start a table. Okay. And I'm going to start a table relaxed game. Now. You can reserve it for a person if you know their username, Penny Hennessy. If, if you have these names of your friends, if you've added them to your friend list, they will pop up as you start to type in their name. Okay, and in the bottom of my screen, you'll see a note that we, um, we found our convention card. You're going to see, I'm going to type in I forget, what's Fran? Uh, K? F-I-B. F-I-B. 47. 47. That comes up. I hit OK. And you'll see a little in the bottom right-hand corner of, your screen, of my screen right now, you should see invitation was issued. You'll see that in the yellow box? If that didn't show up. Oh. It's probably hidden a bit by the black bar on the bottom of your screen. Oh, OK. okay. Um, and now I'm forgetting Diane. Diane is what? You remember Diane's name. Are you, are you talking about me? No. Right. Which Diane? SSI, Diane Elmore. SSI player. Okay, a question. Is your login name the same as your is your tag name or your That's your username. Your it's, username is the is same. Your, okay. Yes. So when you invite you use your person's your partner's username. Username. Okay. Because, Lynn, I sent mine to you. Out. Very good. Okay. okay. So everybody's at the table. It's populating the cards. Uh, Lynn is playing. So her board, even though she's north, is at the bottom of the screen. So can I show, let's talk about the message for a second, because it's on Kibitzers right now, and I may need to write to them. Exactly. That's great. Yeah. So you see. Can you see at Everybody the bottom? See lower left, yeah, lower left on the uh, laptop. In the chat screen, it's defaulting to kibitzers, and she'll probably change that to table. Okay. And she can type in welcome, thanks for helping, or whatever she wants. Okay. Now notice, right. uh, notice on her bidding box. She's got pass one, two, three, et cetera. Uh, but she also has the alert button. And this is very important. If she's got a bid that requires an alert, it is self-alerting. In other words, you have to alert your own non-conventional bid. And your partner will not see that, only your opponents will. Okay. Ahead, uh, it asks for an explanation. Do you have to type an explanation or can you, you just type in alert? an explanation? I'll, I'll, I'll type Let's an alert in that. right now. Okay, alert. This is not, not a real alert. Just showing the, oops. I guess I can't say too much. No, showing feature. Okay. So now I'm gonna bid a pass. And you do that before you make your bid. And you see that pop-up box. You mean the alert is before you make your bid? Exactly. Yes. Okay. And don't forget to alert if you're especially in a, and you notice her pass uh, bid showing on the screen, a sort of a gray box around it. So we yeah. know alerted. Jim? Yes, sir. Are you saying that the person who makes an alertable bid alerts it? Which is Correct. The opposite of what happens way. in a real game. 
But this is your a, partner does not see that learning. Correct. Your so partner does it, not see it. Yeah. All right. And that is important that you self alert. All right. So that's, I would pass with only two, three, four points, maybe five, six, seven. I'm going to go ahead and pass. Okay, now my part, now my opponent said, want to know Trump? I'd like to know what that means. Oops. I want to know what that means. So I'm going to click on one no Trump. And she's going to get a box asking her to explain that. And just because I've already done this personally, if I hit it again, you're going to get a message that she's already trying to explain it. Oops. This is Tom. Does it, does it count into the time of, of seven minutes? Or is do you have to do that very quickly, or is it kind of on hold? We're playing a social uh, game now, so it doesn't affect it. But if we were playing a tournament game, it counts, yes. Oh, thank you. Do you announce uh, Jacoby transfers? Yes. Yes, because anything that's in red on your card, you would announce. Now, I'll pass this. She never answered about the one no trump. She never told me. Well, you're right. A box did occur on the no. screen. Oh, there it is. There it is. What does that mean? Oh. Well, no explanation available. She, I mean, she could have said six to nine points or, you know. If you know, can, can, you, can you then, uh, can you then uh, uh, respond, say, how many, uh, what's your point range? Yes, you can. Yes. How do you, you do can, that? You hit the explain button. You, you hit the explain button again? Yeah. Do it, do it. Let's see how okay. you do it. Um, it's gonna, so what I would do in that case, Ramsey, oops, I can, I would go to down here in this corner to table and change that to opponents. And she said no explanation. Or since really the person I had the question with is SSI player, I'm going to type in SSI player. And what was your question, Ramsey? Okay. How uh, many points? How many points? Uh, 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 yeah. How, how many? How, 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 what's your point range? It should be so, a six to ten. All right, but let's say you don't know. Yeah. Point. Let's see what she says. So I went to her specifically because if I ask the opponents, they'd both see that question. But I just want to know from SSI player. So I typed her name in here, and I'm going to send it to her. Where did you type her name? I don't see anything. Well, if you look in the chat screen now, you see SSI player. Where is the chat screen? I see SSI player, yeah. Right. Lower it's underneath the cards, underneath my cards, Lynn. Oh, beneath, underneath, okay. Yeah. Uh, Lynn, click on the chat box again where SSI player is there and just show them that you you can private message somebody or you can message your opponents or the table or if you're allowing kibitzers, okay? So what you ought to do after that is change that back from SSI player to table so you don't accidentally send her a private message later on. That's what I try and do. So I'll start typing before I even look at the blue box. So, so Jim, why would you why so would you do it, to, Jim? Why would you do it to the table rather than to the person? No, I, in this case, uh, I would do it to the to uh, Diane Alton back. However, I oh, want to make sure that uh, uh, Jim, let me interrupt uh, for a minute. Do you see the message? Oh shoot. Okay. Yeah, I, I was just getting yeah, to but, that. But when you so, ask her, if you if you do it to the table, and she answers, would her partner know the answer? Yes. Well, then you don't want to do that. You want to you want to have that's just, right. Just uh, yeah. you want to get the answer. You want to send a private message. Now, um, <laughs> could ask the table how many points is that one no, and Diane could give her a private message back with the answer. 
but she didn't. She gave her a full, it says six to 10, no four card major. Right. That's what she did. Yeah. But it's to the whole table. She said no, the, her partner doesn't see that. Oh, I, oh okay. Yeah. Well, what is that answer? I don't see it. Right up here, right just my there, cursor in the think, upper right I hand. Think the 12, no four card uh, major. Yeah. I see. Okay. And, yeah, and remember, only Lynn Goldblatt sees that. So we're on, on this one, this uh, demonstration, we're only seeing what Lynn sees. Correct. Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Can I say something now in that, you see that one no Trump explain box up in the corner? Yes. It's bothering me because I can't see the spades. So I'm going to click in this upper corner of the one no Trump box and that will take the box away so I can see Wes's hand. Okay. Oops. Okay, let's say on this part, let's say, oh, never mind. I will show you in a minute. I want to show you what will happen if you try and play something that's not allowed. She's played a diamond. I'm going to try and play this queen of spades. I'm pressing and pressing. It will not let me play the queen of spades. So I won't play until I come over and hit a real diamond. Um, Jim, do you want to show some of the buttons up here? I have a question. Um, can you can you clear that chat box? Yes. How do you do that? I believe it's. Uh, is it here? You can you can yeah, clear chat. There you go. Um, I clicked in the white box where the chat is. Okay. And then it gave me smaller, bigger. I don't know what chat manager is. I've never called them or never arranged them. So I'm going to clear the chat. There you go. Because, you know, sometimes people just write stuff in there. Huh. And you'd like to get rid of it. Like they're telling you how to play. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't you usually happen when you play with friends. but <laughs> You get all kinds. <laughs> yeah. You do. I agree. And remember, you can call the director. Somebody gets a little obnoxious. If you're in a... Uh, okay. Room. Let's say oh. I'm ready to give up at this point. I can hit claim. So do I think I can make three more tricks? I can say that and I'll hit claim and they're gonna get a message asking them if they'll accept this. Do you see? You can write an explanation in too. And reject my claim. I might say, I think I have the rest of the spades or something like that, but I'm not, that's not true, but. Yeah, you could state your line of play. There's the uh, claim. And you see the yellow oh. box pop up, claim rejected. All right, so they're not gonna take it, I have to play it out. 
Now, now who rejected it? Did, did the system or the opponents? The opponents. Yeah. Okay. Now, the other day, uh, somebody claimed, I think they were East. I accepted it. My partner rejected it. And this happened two times. And my part, I think I mentioned this yesterday. Uh, they kept require asking for a uh, acceptance and I accepted she'd reject. I accepted she'd reject. And it was only because this guy was making nasty comments that she kept complaining. So Jim, when you claim, you don't have to say how you're claiming? Uh, you you don't, don't have to, no. Okay. You can just claim, but then remember once you've claimed all and you continue to play, all the hands will be, all the cards will show on the table. So let's try that on the so, next. So one. when you make a claim, it shows your hand, right? Yes. Uh, well, let's, let, yeah, let's do that, Lynn, so the hands show. Let's get somewhere halfway through or a quarter of the way through. Okay. You want to talk about the imps here? Yeah, we're up there. We're playing MPs as opposed to, uh, um, you know, our regular uh, master points. That happens in a casual game. On it. I don't know how the scoring is done for that, but it does give you an idea that north and south is down five inches and east west is up five point two. I have a here, There was a double by west and uh, north now could redouble if they wish. I'm not going to, but I'm going to say two hearts. Now, Jim, let's go over and look at history for a second. Yep. I have history on almost every time I play. Yes, I do too. So I want to know what other people did on that hand. So I'm going to come over here, chose my table to start with. I'm going to click on other tables. Hey, baby. And you can see they played one no trump and went down, or two clubs and made it. So it'll show you what, how everybody else played that hand. That's why my our opponents did so well in this. They made three no trump and other people. How did you get to that, Lynn? Okay, history tab. I'm on history first. Oh, on history. Okay. On the far right. You see it? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then it starts out at my table, but I want to look. So I move it over my cursor and look at other tables. And it shows you what everybody else did. Now, one thing, remember that as you play that game, you might have five, five boards that you've played. If you just click on other uh -huh. tables, the last board will be the one that's shown. But you could go back to board three or two and highlight that and then go to other tables. And you'll how can you make the screen bigger? I know there's a way to do it, but how can you make the screen bigger so that you can see all the small print easy? Okay, cursor. Like this. Mm -hmm. That help you? Thank you. Yep, so your cursor in the edge of the column, or edge of that. Uh, the message in the bottom of the corner right, if I don't play, it'll bump me out. And we'll replace her with a robot. One of the things that I have found, if you get caught in that very quickly, make a bid and then you can undo it. Oh, let's show undo. Did you, did you well, know? I didn't know that yet. Yeah. Here, I'm going to do it right now. Whoops. Okay, let me say. Now, what did you have to do there? I'm not playing the hand. Penny's playing the hand. And you can see, you can see both hands. Lynn can't control it. I have no control over the board right now. But one of the fun Penny things the that I like is even though I'm dummy, I can see Penny's hand. 
So when you're, you're sitting here and watching her play the hand and seeing if she makes it or not, you can say, why did you play that? Don't do that. I would never have led that. And she can't hear you. And she can't hear you, me complaining. Uh, what so are you using go, that for? <laughs> yeah, yep. exactly. It is fun to sit there and look and, and outguess your, uh, your partner and what they're going to play. Can you claim and get, can we show the rest of the hands or something? Well, no, Penny I can't, can't claim because Penny can't. Penny can't. Yeah. Penny's playing, can. yeah. Right. Um, that undo button was up in the blue box with the three white bars. And I, I found that handy because as you're looking at something thinking and all of a sudden you see that yellow thing that says automated, you got to play. If you, if you, as Penny, as Lynn said, if you don't do it quickly, you're going to get kicked off. So you can That's bid right. something and then immediately go to that three bar box and say undo. It, it actually gives you more time. Yep. Notice Penny is claiming. If they said reject. If they didn't somebody's not that. unmuted. I mean, yes. somebody's not muted because I can hear them. All right, it's Penny's turn to bid because she's gold. Oh. Oops. All right, I'm typing a message to Diane. Um, so I'm going to bid in 4, 7, 8, 9, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Let's say I accidentally hit pass, which you would never do with that hand. And I say, oh my gosh, this only works in social games. Do you see that I click this right, this blue and box with the three lines in it? I'm gonna hit undo. And you see, I got the message down here asking for the undo. Unfortunately, it doesn't work in tournaments, but I they found accepted that out. it. <laughs> Uh, so, um, what do I want to say with this? All right. There you go. I'm trying not to spend time thinking. Oh, do you want to show these? Yeah, don't do the redo. I do want to show a claim of all the hands where they reject it and all the hands come up. Okay. You want me to claim now? No, no, no. It's too early. Just play, yeah. Play one or two. And you want them to reject it, Jim? Yes. So that it is played out with all the cards showing. All right. Um, play one more and then play it. Oh, here's another thing that's good to know. Until I hit another card, these um, the cards that are there show up. So that'll stay there until I hit Ace of Hearts. Yeah, now, cl now claim and let's see it rejected. Claim rejected. Everybody see that on the screen? Okay. Yeah. It's just going to make now me in, get out now. Yeah. In a in a uh, game where you're paying, playing, paying for to play, uh, all the cards would appear. Uh, I think it'll make us play the game. Yeah, but in a real in a game where you've paid, it'll all the rules and all the cards will be. What happened to this claim? They it rejected was rejected. It. I'll claim Wait. again. Um, Let me do that. Is the reason they had a good qu uh, king. I'm going to claim no, again. Because, uh, you get the rest. 
I, I can do it, but I'll ask them to reject so you can see it. Well, they, they don't need to reject. It's claimable. <laughs> <laughs> We're just doing this to show the, uh, what can happen. Oops. All right, so I'm going to say claim. Do you see over here in the right hand corner it says claim rejected? Okay. Where did they get the rejected? It'll be a, oh, we can show you that if they play a hand, I can reject their claim. We'll, we'll do that next. Okay. We'll do that. Don't you wish you could always have your partners do what you ask them to do, your opponents? Now, what did somebody want to see? They wanted to see if we rejected a claim. Yeah, they want to see. I just went to the next. Uh, rejects oh. a claim. Okay. So you're going to have to Is reject it up here it. in this in this box. Um, it won't well, have won't come up until after we. Whoops. Yeah, go back to my table now. If you look quickly at on the right, if you're on a, a laptop, you'll see my table and the first three boards that are there. So that history is populating as they play. Maybe you want to know, did anybody and, uh, put a slam on that? Oh, somebody did and went down one. Somebody bid six diamonds and made it. Mm, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, if you're you using an i you go back to your if excuse me if you go back to your table it's got a refresh button at the bottom jim why don't you cover that if and you're on an door. ipad are you finished yeah if you're Stop. on an ipad how do you move Every, hold on a minute everybody see that west was stuck and they removed it. So Lynn, when it, it was replaced by the robot, Lynn clicked on it and said, remove robot. And now she's going to reserve it again for FIB 47. This happens more in casual games than in, uh, yeah. Down below it says invitations have been issued and hopefully Fran will accept that. So there she is. What's her bid? Yeah, I'm getting a message in the bottom corner that somebody just logged in. That was Elizabeth. Yeah. So click on uh, the people tab for a moment. Are you able to bid from or are you stuck? How do you do that if you're on an iPad? I haven't been able to do that successfully with my finger. Um, when you say do that, see who's playing? <clears throat> no, move the thing over to make it bigger like you did. Oh, the cursor? Uh, I don't have my iPad open, but I would assume it works just the same on an iPad than it does, as it does on a PC. It doesn't because I've used my finger to try to do it and it doesn't move anything. Okay. Maybe you need just, yeah. It's Lynn Green, that's why. Say We're it looking again. at Lynn Green. Yes. Right. Oh. Are you trying to do it? Yeah, you're trying to do it on Lynn's screen. You can't do it. Okay. Oh, okay. Got it. And I think that when you are on your own, isn't it in, in an iOS situation like an iPad, isn't it a pinching kind of thing that you can move the, the side? I don't know. I play on a Mac or I play on a PC. Mm -hmm. no, yeah. I don't That's know. an yeah. excellent right, yeah. point, and you are right, because I just tried it, and it worked great. Thank you. Good. Good. Thanks, Tom. I don't have anything to do up here. It just snowed this morning. So 
Okay. <laughs> it's lovely here. Okay, you want me to go back to good. history or stay there? Uh, uh, we'll go back to uh, history. Yeah. I have to leave. So if there's anything I need okay. to know later on, would somebody let me know? Sure. Well, you can just watch the video if you wish. And Diane, okay. I, look, let me tell you one other thing is anybody who sends me their name and tells me they want to play in a social game for fun to, you know, just try some of these things without any stress, send me um, that. And if you want to play with a person in particular, um, okay. send me their name too. And then I'll set up a social game where we can, you can actually play and practice any of the things you've seen. Okay. When you say a social so game, that. what are you talking okay, about? That. All right, bye-bye, Diane. Um, when I say a social game, or casual when game. When you say social game, yeah. So you're still talking about, okay, social is casual. casual. Okay. Yes. Yeah, like like the game they're playing now. It doesn't cost you any money. I gotcha. I gotcha. Casual, non-competitive. Here game. it is, relaxed bridge gotcha. game. Yeah. Jim, would you, would you go through that uh, score at the bottom, at refresh, it's got... 0 0.8 and 5.7 and how that can get changed when you hit refresh sure uh typically what happens they play one round and the scores for those first three rounds will appear now they're on round four hit the refresh for a moment if you would then go back to my table yeah uh your boards for the your scores for rounds four, five, and six will not appear until you finish rounds four, five, and six when you're in a competitive game. I'm not sure how in the casual game, it's been a while since I've played that, whether uh, the score for four will appear when you finish this out. It will. May I say, may I say something, Jim? If you're yeah, playing in a competitive game and, uh, and uh, there'll be a box up there above you where you see number four and the M so on. There'll be a box there that will give you yes. how much time remaining in that round. And uh, if that time runs yes, to there's zero, a clock that ticks. The, 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 the board goes off. Now, if, if the time That's goes right. to zero because you're slow and delaying the game, your opponent can call the director and the director will kick you off. Mm -hmm. will, will, will get you out, out of the game. That's right. So you have to, this is a fast moving game. When it's competitive, you have to do, you don't have time to look at history and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and that's really the same it, as it you is. You can continue to come, uh, play at the same time. Yeah. That is the same as it is at the Bridge Center. If you're playing slowly, you can be, uh, the director can be called and you can be warned and told that if you continue, you're gonna lose that round. Um, what I have found, with seven minutes, which is what we're supposed to always be playing our games at. In this game, when you play online, the hands come to you already sorted. Yeah. Um, you can talk to your opponents, and sometimes I do, it depends on my mood. So you can say hi, or how are you from, or you know, welcome to the table. But there's a little bit less talk. Yeah. Um, and then chat, we're talking about chatting. Yeah, so it takes, it just, it tends for me it tends to go a little faster because you don't you don't spend mm -hmm. as much time making small talk to your friends when you're playing online as when you're playing in person where do you now, find that to... where do you find the time thing that was talked about how much time is left on each hand right at where my cursor is pointing right now we're playing socially so there's no time limit if we're oh, playing competitively it would tell you how much time was left in the round uh, also, in a in a pay for play game, a competitive game, uh, when that if you finish your first three rounds before the, the first, if you finish your three boards before the twenty one minutes finish out, you won't go to your next three until the clock runs uh, runs out of the twenty one minutes. So you do have a little time there to chat back and forth in the chat box with your opponents. And, and you can look at history at that time and all that you sure. give time to look at this. Yep, go back and say, okay, what happened there? Is it always three boards around then or is it more than that? No, I think I had one with four, but I don't, I, I can't be sure, Tom. Okay, thank you. Um, I played in the an ACBL tournament last weekend and we played on Thursday. There were only two boards around. Okay, so that's a good answer. 
you know, when when uh, when your opponents are losing, sometimes uh, they will deliberately slow because then they get an average <laughs> board instead of a bad board. So if you have to be careful. You have to call the director on it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How'd you learn that trick, Ramsey? I, it, it happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing with George, and, and George called the director. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. Do you, do you want to look at some of these options, or do you want to do that? Yeah, look at table options for a moment. Okay. All right, so those are things you can, you know, we've looked at that yesterday. Table options, we can cross that out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can change it from IMPs to master plan. Where do you do that? Uh, North South Convention. North South Convention card. Okay. Yep, there it is. Loads it up. You can see exactly what their conventions are. Scroll through it. Okay. Can that convention card be filled out here online? I'm sorry. Yes. If me, I have filled out our card except for a couple of things I've talked about. Okay, there are a few things I've got a questions for. When you say our card, that we don't have to have two of them. Two cards. No. One one for the north south or whatever. All right, thank you. Going back mute. Jim, is there anything else we want to show here? Can we let Penny and um, Fran and Diane go? Yeah, I think we've shown enough here. Uh, we showed them now. You can do redeal. I don't. Yeah, hit that for a moment just to see. <laughs> May we redeal, please? Let's see what they say. Notice they put the please in. Was the table option was that the way it scored? Uh, yeah, change. See if you can change to uh, uh, master points over on the left there, where it says scoring. No. Uh, yeah, you can leave. No, hold on a second. Yeah, just change it to uh, master. Won't let me. Down box. Oh, it won't. Okay. I guess it won't in a casual game. Yeah, that's true. You can't play for master points. Yeah. You haven't paid to play. What does invisible mean? Whoops. That was table options. Whoops. Uh oh. <laughs> table options. Invisible. I uh, used to talk a switch. Why and close? Why? You can give me your iPad if you I don't know. It may mean that nobody can see us. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'll tell you in a minute. Oh, she's, they can, you can still be seen. It's probably enough though. All right, anything else we wanna show with okay. them around? Oh, the hand diagrams. If you don't want to see the cards. That is the table. Hello. I want to ask a question. Go ahead. Sure. Lynn or Jim, where do you go to fill out your convention card? Is it also under the little, uh, the blue box with three lines on the left? No, no. to see them or to set your own? I wasn't sure. Set what your own. Set your own. So you go to the account tab. Okay. Click on the account tab, and then at the top there you see profile settings convention, and that's where you click on that, and you can okay. create a personal one, or you can use a convention card. Okay. Good. Thank you. You can, oh. you can also take one of the convention cards, like one of their stock cards, edit it, and save it with your own names. Okay. Also, I have not played, played casual, but I've not played in a tournament. How do you pay? Where does the paying come in? Sure. 
I mean, or I don't. Did it be, be dollars up. So will they say? Click, click on that. Click on BB dollars, and it says purchase BB dollars, and then it gives you the chance to just use a credit card or PayPal. I don't have your card. I'm sorry. I mean, I oh, I see it's my spell. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Three other the bottom. Okay, I still have a question on how many master points you have. Um, I looked at my profile. Diane, can you hold one minute? Can you just sure. hold one minute? Do we sure. need anything else from um, Fran and um, Penny? Are we just into questions now? Is there anything else you'd like to see on this uh, play of the hand mm. kind of thing? Well, I have one comment. Uh, when they're playing, it shows the trumps at the top rather than on the left, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. No. It does yes. Because I, th I think it's just easier for me sitting in the north for, for me to see it that way. Yeah, the, remember that we said several times that the table direction can be very confusing at first. You will always be at the bottom of the screen. Or you will always be at the top of the screen. And are you always north? No. You could be east at the bottom of the screen. Yesterday, somebody just said, uh, I don't like this hand or something, just redeal. I didn't understand that. Well, that's just an option you have when you're playing with friends in a casual game. Redeal. Yeah, and see what happens. Now, they're asking, I had Fran, Fran just said yes, but her partner may say no. We don't know what department is, yep. but it did redeal, okay? So it was accepted. Oh, okay. Okay. So whatever reason, you know, somebody wanted to redeal on that. And again, it's only a Okay. okay? So why don't you go? Pardon? Why don't you let uh, Penny and Diane go, and we can answer any questions that people have. All right. Barbara Bruce has a question. She says she can't hear you. Um, okay. Barbara, do you know how to turn your volume up on your computer? Can you hear me, Barbara? Ask her the question yourself, Lindsay. All right. If she can hear you. I'm going to ask her to what the question is. <laughs> I'm going to go back in a second to uh i remember yesterday i think it was lee asked this same question on it and uh the volume button by the function buttons at the top of your laptop 